or not? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
gospel before you die. Glory to your Lord. Jesus came to the town of Samaria on the sea part. He was a plot of land that Jacob had been to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down in the well. It was about noon. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? The Jews used nothing in common with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, from who is saying to you, Give me a drink? You would have asked him, and he would have given you the woman of The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket, and the cistern is deep. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this cistern, and drank from it himself, with his children and his wives? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water, will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, so that I may not be thirsty, or have to be coming here to draw water. And he see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain. But you people say that the place to worship is Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when we will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship them. God is spirit, and those who worship him must, must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking with you. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them. And he stayed there for two days. Many more began to believe in him because of his word. And they said to the woman, We no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus alone satisfy our thirst for eternal life. Jesus alone satisfy our thirst for eternal life. Just before the Mass, I told Deacon Chris, don't do the long version, do the short version. That does not mean we forget the main idea of the gospel passage. I want you to all to go home either today or tomorrow. Read the whole passage of John chapter 4 and see the development of the woman at the well and Jesus. Isn't the reading a book called Hero on a Mission. We have doctor here, Dr. Dan, on a mission for a Lenten preaching. He has some themes in his mind. This book talks about Hero on a Mission. In the book, he talks about four characters we all play in our life. The four characters. One is victim. Another is villain. Third is a hero and fourth is a guide. Look at any movie 
When the hero has no purpose or direction, we don't know where the movie is going. There's no thrill, there's no substance. We all identify with the hero in our life. Today's gospel, same thing. There's something happening in the Samaritan woman of the well. She feels she's a victim. Why would somebody come in a hot sunny day to a well to fetch a water? Why can't she go to a common place like somebody coming to Anna Maria Island, going early morning 4 o'clock or late night 10 o'clock? I don't want any gossip. I want people to point finger at me and tell me I'm not living a decent life. She avoids the gossip of the town and we see the growth in the woman. If you read the gospel, she starts, You are a Jew. And then she says, Sir. And the third she says, I worship you and Messiah and Savior. First she says, You are a Jew. What are you doing with me, a Samaritan? You are a man, I am a woman. A first some type of confrontation, a conflict. And slowly she reveals herself and she worshipped him. And I finally she said, You are the Messiah and the Savior. We heard from the gospel, the word Savior. So tell one who saves you, brings you up. The gospel focuses today. What is our desire in human life? There are two desires, a material desire and a spiritual desire. What is your desire in life? What do you earn deeply? Some type of thing, some type of car, some type of jewelry, some type of real estate, or something spiritual. The gospel talks about the deep spirituality of a woman she realizes this water she came to fetch from the well is not going to quench her thirst. It's going to only quench temporarily. And she realizes Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior can quench her thirst. On a one cold morning in Chicago, Father Jack went for fishing. He went in the morning, dark morning, went to the lake, was completely a small lake, frozen, and he smashed a hole, and put the, pulled the ice away, and started fishing with the gear. Waited for two hours, did not catch fish. He went a little further, again slammed a hole, started fishing, he didn't catch a fish, not a single nibble, he heard a voice, Father Jack, there isn't fish here. Lord Jesus, are you the one talking to me? The voice said, no, it is the manager of the ice ring. <laughs> Sometimes we catch fish, there is no fish. You know, what is the motive of a life? My desire is to connect with God, but my heart and soul and mind is somewhere else. On the middle of the Lenten journey, we are at the well like the Samaritan woman. Ask the question, what is the motive, desire of my life? We are third week of Lent. We began with the temptation, three temptations and one goal. Last week we saw about transfiguration to be transformed people. And this week we are hearing the gospel that the Samaritan woman was broken, destroyed, bounded, bondage of sin comes from material water. Finally, she goes home knowing the Lord. We are here to quench our spiritual thirst through the sacrament of the Eucharist and the Word of God. What is our disposition? 
what is our desire are we ready to move from the worldly material water to the spiritual water Christ gives what are our desires do we just say you are a Jew and serve and walk away or do we move with Jesus and say we worship you you are the Messiah you are the Savior only Jesus alone can satisfy our spiritual thirst and give us eternal life Uh, remain seated. We are going to do the third scrutiny for our sorry, first scrutiny for our uh, catechumen and candidates. Please. Elect of God, bow your head and pray. Let us pray for this elect whom the church has confidently chosen. May he successfully complete his long preparation and at the Paschal feast find Christ in his sacraments. Please respond to our prayer. That like the woman of Samaria, our elect may review his life before Christ and acknowledge his sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That he be freed from the spirit of mistrust and deterred people from following Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. While we need to give to God, we may long with all this heart the living water that brings in our life. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. By accepting the Son of God as his teacher, we may become a true worshiper of the Father, in the Spirit, and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That he may share with his friends the name of the wonder of his own meeting with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose lives are empty for want of the word of God may come to the gospel of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All merciful Father, to your Son, you revealed your mercy to the woman of Samaria, and moved by the same care, you offered salvation to all sinners. Look favorably on this elect, who desires to become your daughter's child. Through the power of your sacraments, free him from slavery of sin, and for Satan's crushing yoke, exchange the gentle yoke of Jesus. Protect him in every danger, that he may serve you faithfully in peace and joy. I render you thanks forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, merciful wisdom, you touched the heart of the sinful woman and taught her to worship the Father. In spirit and truth, now by your power, free this elect from the cunning Satan as he draws near to the fountain of living water. Touch his heart with the power of the Holy Spirit and he may come to know the Father in true faith. It expresses itself in love. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Although you cannot participate fully in this Lord's Eucharist, carry friends, men, stay with the sign of a hope that all God's children will eat and drink with the Lord and work with the Spirit to recreate the face of the earth. Amen. Now, carry friends, men is our catechumen and uh, our sponsor is Christian Arnold. So we get a round of applause. Okay? Welcome. <laughs> We'll go into the offertory.
Watch Manipuri cuts me from my sins. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the mighty Father. Be pleased to Lord with his sacrificial offerings. Grant that we beseech pardon for our own sins. May take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty as salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did he thirst for her faith that he kindled in her the fire of divine love. And so we do give you thanks, and with the angels praise your mighty deeds as we sing your praises. Indeed, a holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore the gifts we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered William's passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Dame star, we will fare. I 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we all feel, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the fellows worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bill Dunn, whom you call from this world to yourself, from the united and son in death like his, but also the one with his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them, light of your face, of mercy, and the soul, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, Spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Claire, St. Anthony, St. Peter and Paul, John of the Cross, and the rest, and all the saints who place you throughout the ages, merit to be coerced to turn alive. And we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Every Lent is a new beginning. Only Jesus can satisfy our thirst for eternal life. And say this coming from a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious, grant peace in our days, so by help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, the city of pastors, peace, I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church. And gracious to grant a peace and unity according to your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other some sign of peace. Peace of God. Peace be with you. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. And the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. 
about it first about it first about it first about it first communion of a we'll take this ceremonial or communion only communion here yeah.
As we heard the event at the well, an encounter between Jesus and Samaritan woman that reminds us of our own brokenness. When we come in touch with the Lord, um, He makes our brokenness into beauty. May our hearts desire for the thirst of our soul. May the Mary, Most Holy Mother, Help us to cultivate the desire for Christ, a source of living water, the only one who can satisfy the thirst for life and love that we carry in our hearts. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, Lord, that what is being brought about in this mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The mass is ended. Go in peace. And have a blessed evening. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.